Hello everyone. Just launched my little yellow kayak. Getting my rod squared away. We got bright blue skies to start on this sunny morning. A few wispy clouds, but mostly blue skies. The weatherman said it was going to be blowing northwest today, and so it should be coming down the lake at me. And it's really not. It's kind of strange weather this morning. Every once in a while I could feel the wind on my back, which is from the south. But on the other end of the pond, it looked like it was blowing from the north. So it seemed like at times it was blowing in both directions at once, which is odd to me. But for whatever reason, that north wind can't make it down the pond. So I pretty much landed on a school of herring. You can see him flipping around at the top middle of the screen. So I'm just going to get a few baits rigged up and I'm going to wait for that north wind to catch up to me. And I'm hoping to have kind of a lazy morning of fishing where I just wait for the wind to come to me and uh, hope that the weatherman was correct in his forecast. All right, I got my bait rigged up. In this case, it's a reverse rigged finesse TRD in the deal color. I picked that color because it sort of looks like baby herring, sort of looks like, I don't know, a half dead herring, kind of looks like a crawfish, kind of looks like a bluegill. It could be really anything, just in terms of color. The shape is kind of odd, but just in terms of color, I like that deal color. I put a little Procure herring scent on there. And I'm just flipping around to these different herring schools. And you can see them flipping on the surface. They're, they're feeding. One thing about uh, bait schools is you have to kind of read them. The first thing you should look for is try to figure out what size bait there is. So the ones that I want are schools of two to three inch herring. Those are kind of a moderate size, but I don't want the really tiny ones. For two reasons, those little tiny ones tend to have small fish on them and the bait is harder to match. The two to three inch herring are about the same size as the little finesse TRD that I'm throwing. So I've got the size in the right range, the color in the right range, the profile isn't quite right, but some of those, those herring once they get beat up or coughed up by bass, they kind of look like a finesse TRD. So it kind of looks like a dead herring falling to the bottom. And I got a fish. I don't know if you saw it, but there was a, a little sunfish or something that was pecking at it first. And I kind of let him peck at it. And then the second fish that picked it up was that bass. And I reeled down to him and set the hook. And they're in that stringy grass that gets all over your rod tip and your line. And it's kind of a mess. But underneath the schools of herring is this stringy grass stuff. But the reverse rig comes through all that pretty well. Better than a drop shot, better than a Ned rig with an open hook, better than a tube, better than a lot of baits, better than a crankbait, spinner bait, chatter bait. So I can fish through that clingy grass that's uh, underneath the herring schools. When I set the hook, the bait slides up the line, so I'm just left with a, a, a Neko hook in that fish's uh, jaw there. So they have a really hard time throwing that bait. It doesn't have, they don't have any leverage because the bait slid up the line. It's just a hook and a fish. So nine out of 10 times they're coming in the boat. That's not a big one, but it's a good lazy morning of fishing. And I'm just gonna bounce around between these herring schools and see if I can um, pull out a few more fish. I'm using the rod to work the bait and using the reel to reel in the slack. Once I feel a fish, I reel down to him, set the hook, and haul him in. It's a light powered spinning rod, 2000 size Daiwa Legalis reel. I think I've got eight pound. Um, Berkeley X9 braid on there with a six pound Yoziri hybrid leader. So this is pretty light tackle and it's fun. These aren't the biggest fish in the lake, but it's fun. And the longer I wait, the more it seems like that north wind is creeping up on me. 
which I like. I like I like a little bit of a ripple. Yeah, maybe a little better. Not much. That's all right though. You see the herring flipping around in the the top corner of the screen. Maybe it's top middle now. I'm fishing right underneath those schools of herring. And they look like happy little herring. They're flipping around. Oh, I know what happened there. I set the hook into a pickerel. Like setting the hook into a pair of scissors. Cut me off. Lost my whole reverse rig. Ah, it's one of the hazards, I guess, of fishing here. There's a lot of pickerel. So in addition to figuring out what uh, size bait you're fishing, you want to also pay attention to where they're headed. And the herring will naturally try to avoid the bass. So you don't want to fish the front of the school. You want to fish kind of the tail end of the school or right in the middle of them. So when the bass attack the herring from below, they come up, feed, and then they immediately drop back down low. Uh, at least that's what I've observed. So a lot of times, even, even if nothing's going on, there's going to be fish underneath those schools of herring. Even if they're not active, and you can get away with, um, you know, fishing something small like the Finesse TRD reverse rigged. Or right now I've, I've switched to a, a Micro Texas rig since I got my Finesse TRD cut off by a pickerel. But it's the same general approach. I'm fishing something small, something uh, unobtrusive, just a snack sized bait underneath those schools of herring. There's no fish actively, uh, you know, attacking these schools of herring right now. They're in kind of a slow period. Eh, not bad. I really like that little micro Texas rig. It's a fun way to fish. So now I've got kind of three finesse ways to fish underneath these schools of herring. I can fish uh, a reverse rig, TRD or big TRD. I could fish uh, a micro Texas rig with um, you know, like a TRD bugs or a baby goat. Or I can fish a weedless Ned head, like the one that Arsenal Tackle makes. And I just have to add a bait keeper to that, uh, to that hook on the weedless Ned hook. And that's great for hula sticks, savage salamander. So between those, those three options, I can fish this, uh, this clingy grass pretty well and get underneath those schools of herring and, and not get my lure fouled up with all the weeds. Anyway, it's been a fun morning fishing out here. Just a quick morning trip. I fished around a little bit more, but I didn't do too much else. The wind finally caught up to me. The weatherman ended up being right in the end. It is from the north and it is building. Kind of strange weather this morning. Anyway, thanks for coming along. I really appreciate it. Just like all my other videos, I'll list all the gear in the video description so that you can duplicate what I was doing here today on your home lake. Hopefully have some good success there too. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya!